Hello yogis, welcome back. I'm Nicole. Thank you for joining me here on the mat. Um, this 15 minute flow is for my good friend Catherine, who is awesome and amazing and super generous, but it's going to be great for anyone on a little bit of a time crunch who still wants to get up and get moving. So without further ado, let's get started right away in child. And I love getting started here. We're going to start to bring some opening into our spine, our low back. If you take knees mat distance apart, you'll get opening in the shoulders, knees together, more emphasis on the low back. A little shoulder opening, forehead to mat for a bit of grounding. So we're taking a few moments to breathe and center in, kind of clear head of thoughts, slow the breath down, breathe into the back through the lungs. setting an intention or a focus point for your practice, a word, a sound, a phrase, or simply your breath, whatever you're going to come to if your mind starts to wander off. Next inhale, I want you to come up to a table. Fingers are spread. Wrists stacked under shoulders, elbows soft. We'll keep warming up our back by inhaling, lifting our chin and our hips. There's our cow. We'll exhale, cat. So our centering in was a little abbreviated. You can keep doing it as you flow between these two poses. Inhales, lifting. Exhales, rounding. We're connecting breath to movement. And allowing that connection to free the thoughts. Breath tells body what to do. One more round. And then find your way to neutral table, fingers spread. Take your right foot back. Notice how the ball of my foot is on the mat. I'm going to press through my heel, get a little opening in my calf. Nice soft elbows. Float your toes. Core is engaged. Option to take left arm out. Find some length in the spine. Let's build a little heat in our core. Inhale, fill. Exhale, away. If your left hand is up, maybe the next time you exhale, you tap the elbow underneath, putting a little heat in the core. Plant the hand, plant the knee. Take a set of cat and cow, reset your spine. Back to neutral. Left toes back. Ball of heels on the mat, pressing to open up your calf. Float your left toes, engage your core. Remember, right hand out is optional. Either way, we're finding a big inhale. Exhale puts length into the spine. If your right hand is reaching, maybe you inhale, fill. And exhale, tap. A little heat. Big reach. And knee to mat. A cat and a cow to loosen things up. Spread the fingers. Give the toes a curl under. Lift your seat downward facing. 
take a couple petals, opening up the calves. We already started to open up the calves. Is this first downward dog a little easier because of it? Walk your feet up to your hands and come into a forward fold. Knees are nice and soft. Inhale, a half lift. Put a lot of length in your spine like we just did. Exhale, dive. Really hinging open the low back. Let's find a little opening in our shoulders by interlacing hands behind head and inviting a gentle press of forehead to knees. Twist, right elbow, left knee, center, left to right, center, drop the hands, inhale, start rolling up to standing, stacking one vertebrae into place with head coming last. We'll come into a strong Tadasana or Mountain Pose. We'll give shoulders a little shrug. Settling shoulders back into space. Let's inhale, bring our hands up. Exhale, hinge. Half lift. High plank. And we're going to lower to our bellies together for this first one. Doesn't matter if you come to knees first. Lower elbows in. Uncurl toes. Inhale up a cobra. No help from the hands on this first one. Just your strong neck. Give toes a curl. Lift your seat downward facing. Pedal. Step to the top as you exhale. Inhale, come up half. Exhale, take a dive. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Big reach. Exhale, a back bend. Open up your heart. Getting the blood flowing already. Inhale, fill. Exhale, hinge. Come up half. High plank. And lower. This time I'm gonna stop at Chaturanga. You can go all the way down if you'd like. Uncurl toes. Inhale, up dog or cobra if you went all the way down. Give your toes a curl, lift your seat. Meeting in the downward facing. This time we'll inhale our right toes up. Get a little reach. Opening up the entire back of left. Step your right foot between your hands. Options again. You can keep your left knee lifted, or you can set it down. Doesn't matter. Left hands down. We'll inhale, right fingers up. A twist to open the back. Stacking right wrist over right shoulder. Take right hand to the low back if you'd like. A little half bind to open up the right shoulder. Right hand comes down, frame the foot, drop your left knee down, uncurl your left toes, press the top of your left foot into the mat to take pressure out of your knee. Your hands never have to leave the mat, especially if you're feeling tight in the left hip flexor today. But if you wanted to take your hands to your knee in this Anjana Asana, you certainly could. Relax shoulders away from the ears. Take a big inhale. Frame your foot. Shift back. Right toes lift. Right knee soft. I like to offer my students blocks here. But if you don't have blocks at home, no worries. Maybe you come up higher in your fingertips. Maybe you put a little extra bend in your knee. We are looking always for length in the spine, y'all. Take your hands.
hands forward, bring your foot, give your left toes a curl under, step back, high plank, we're here one more time, lower, all or half, toes uncurl, inhale your back bend, look up, downward facing, pedal it out, a brief moment of active breaths, inhale your left toes up, take the left foot between the hands, remember right knee could be active or on the mat. Right hand is certainly on the mat, grounded through spread fingers. Inhale, left up. Stacking wrist over shoulder. Or maybe taking left hand to low back. Adding a bit of a bind. Left hand comes down. Raise foot. Right knee drops. Right toes uncurl. Press through the top of your foot. Take pressure out of the knee. Remember, you never have to pick up your hands, though you certainly could. One big inhale. Exhale, releases the right hip flexor now. foot, hip shift back, left toes pop, left knee soft. Again, if you're feeling particularly tight in the hamstring, you can add a hair more bend. Whatever you do, don't hyperextend, lock out your knee, even if you're quite flexible. We just want to be really mindful of our ligaments. Take a little walk forward, frame, right toes curl under, step left foot back, high plank. This is it, yogis, final flow. Lower with control. Whole body comes down at the same time, whether you stop at chaturanga or go to the belly. Inhale, your back bend, cobra up dog. Curl toes, lift seat. Let's open up the backs of the hips, drop right knee behind right wrist. Left knees down. Check, make sure your heels lined up with your seat. Then uncurl your toes, caps up foot down. As you can see, I have my right heel very near my left hip. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you could take it away. Trying to make your shin parallel to the front of your mat, optional. What we are going to do though, is shift a little weight to the left, nice even distribution. And we'll come down for just a couple rounds of breath. Take a moment here to really slow your breathing down and to relax into this really big hip opener. Inhale to your palms, left toes curl under, step back, downward facing dog, paddling it out. Give the right leg a lift and a shake if you need. And then take left knee behind left ankle, right knees down, take a look back, uncurl your toes, tops of feet to mat. Again, do you want to bring your right heel closer to your right wrist, or I should say your left heel closer to your right wrist, or do you want to keep it by the right hip? Listen to your left hip and your knee, and you'll know what's best for your body. Regardless of what you choose, we evenly distribute the weight between the hips. We take a moment to simply focus on the breath and relax into the pose.
Inhale, press up. Curl. Find your final downward facing dog. A little lift of your toes if you need it. Any final movements here? Knees to the mat. Come on to your seat. Head into an easy seat. We haven't been here yet. Hands can be face down for a little grounding. Palms up to receive a little energy. Find a gentle length in your spine. One more inhale, fill up and exhale, sigh out. One more. All right, yogis, thank you so much for joining me in this practice. Namaste.